up busy bodies, Mary Chris here. I have a upper body burn workout for you. That's right, we're focusing up top. You wanna get those toned arms, you wanna feel swole, you wanna look lean. Well, that's what we're taking care of today. We've got 30 seconds on for each exercise. We have five exercises, 15 seconds off in between, and 45 seconds rest in between rounds. We got three, y'all. Okay, so let's get straight to it. We are starting off with body weight only. We're gonna start with that push up. You're gonna come down, high plank position here, elbows 45 degrees, arms under shoulders. You're gonna drop down, feet hip width apart, and we're gonna go. If you need to modify, drop to your knees. All the same rules apply. All right, I'm gonna get my timer started and it's off. Here we go. Okay, 30 seconds on the clock. Push up your choice. What are you gonna do? All right. Remember to warm up before you start this workout. Do we need to? Or ease in with your reps? That's what I'm doing today. <laughs> no need for speed here. You're gonna feel it. Pelvis tucked. Push up all the way. 30 seconds, check. All right, I'm gonna grab the 10 pound weights here. Your choice what weights you wanna use. I have two different sets for my exercises. We got the eccentric bicep curl, so what that looks like is, go for one, drop three, two, one. Do it with me. Up, three, two, one, on the control. Woo! <laughs> Feeling it already. So when I say eccentric, that's when we're dropping it down and lengthening. There we go. A little bit different than your traditional curl. Feel that work. Good. And I'll finish that out. 15 seconds off. Now we have a bent over tricep kickback. So I'm gonna hinge over into this position. Still good alignment, shoulders good posture, open chest. I'm gonna row back and from this position. I'm gonna kick back. So this is like the robot. I'm choosing to stick to this weight because it's where I'm at. But if you're feeling weaker on that extension now, go ahead and drop weight. Well, I'm gonna feel it, but I'm out there. I'm in it right now. But I want to do the work that I should be doing in the gym for y'all. So I'm gonna fight with you. Oh, thank God, I feel like the time's going fast. <laughs> All right, we have back flies. We're gonna keep that same position. I'm gonna keep these weights for me, but you can drop weight if you're not familiar with this move. And you're gonna kind of think of a reverse hug. So you're gonna get this view. If you're more advanced, your arms are gonna be a little bit lengthened. If you need to modify, bend at those elbows. Okay, get your shoulder blades together. Maintain that core hold. Woo! Oh yes. Exhale. Woo! Let's work. Oh, thank goodness. All right, next up we have lateral shoulder raises. I'm grabbing my thighs for these. All right, shoulders an area opportunity for me. Lateral raise, you're coming up here. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale. Oh, everything's burning. I told you I was going to bring it. <laughs> Whew. I did this for y'all. Y'all want the toned arms? You asked for it. Strong upper body. Oh, yes. All right, 45 seconds off. I'm gonna grab a sip of water, scroll up on my timer, make sure we're on track. Ooh, I mean, this water feels like a way now. <laughs> hmm. Okay, okay. So now you know what to expect. Choose the right set of weights for you for each exercise. Remember, it's about quality, not quantity. So do whatever you need to do because that's how you're gonna gain strength and that's what's gonna get you to be stronger sooner than later and keep you um, from injuring yourself. 
All right, 10 seconds. We're going those push-ups. Asking the gods to give me some feeling here. <laughs> All right, coming down two and let's go. Arms directly under shoulders, feet hip width apart, down and up. As you get tired though, watch that you're not dropping your neck. Keep that alignment. Straight line from head to toe. Whew. Yes, y'all, come on. You got less than 10 seconds. If you need a modify, drop to your knees, but you stay working. Ooh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. All right, eccentric bicep curls. Grabbing my medium weights. Do whatever weight you need to. Standing tall, chest open. Also think pelvis tucked. It's so important as you do this because sometimes people lift heavier weights than they should. Not you, of course, right? You know what you're doing. But we start to get into our lower backs because we're trying to carry those weights. No, keep your core tight for that support. That way you get the job done right. And that's why if you need to drop weight, do it. That's what makes you better. Up. Yes. <laughs> All right, bent over tricep kickbacks. I'm gonna keep this weight. Hinge over position, basically you're standing. Push your butt back, keep your shoulders open, just open. Kick back from here. And row, kick back, and hold that position. Give me that fitness robot. <laughs> Exhale on the work, full extension. Oh yes, come on. Hit it. Oh, okay. I got one more. Back flies with this weight. If you need to, drop your weight, honestly. You wanna be able to get that full extension back. All right, hinge over that same position and fly. So one big thing to pay attention to with your body here is when you fly back, are you standing up? Is your body moving? Or are you in enough control that you're only having that, those shoulder blades kiss each other? Because people try to come up here and that's a sign that you should lower that weight. <laughs> or bring those elbows in, final modification that makes it work for you. Okay. Woo! Gotta be strong for y'all. Gotta make this look uh, somewhat easy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, we got lateral shoulder raises. Whew. All right, all right. Inhale, exhale. I got the timer for y'all, so do your own work, okay? Good for you. Naturally, add more reps as you get stronger, so don't worry about that right now. Oh, yeah, shoulder boulder. One for my core. Exhale. Ah, uh, round two. Done. One more round. Ooh. <laughs> all right, all right. It's funny, like, as you start to lift weights, you know, it's, I find it easier to lift weights, but what's hard is body weight exercises sometimes, because you know it's just the weight, but a lot of times we can struggle with our full body form and engaging properly, because like I said, our own body weight is a load. Don't take that for granted. So I think the hardest thing I gotta do right now are these push-ups. <laughs> All right, six seconds. Let's get into that high plank. 30 seconds, let's do it. Left, drop down 45 degrees. Inhale, exhale on the up. Find something to focus on. Check in. Pelvis this touch. Is your neck in alignment? I'm slowing down, focusing on that form. Shaky, shaky, but get it done right. Woo All right, <laughs> eccentric 
bicep curls, grab your weight. Yo, swollen. <laughs> All right, three, four, come up for one, drop. Three, two, one. Up, three, two, one. And let it come all that, all the way down to fully restart. Don't get stuck here and then come up. No, all the way down. Yes. Okay, start, stop. Yes. All right. There we go. Get that pump. Woo! <laughs> All right, we've got bent over tricep kickbacks. Push, starting at the hips, hinge over, and hit that row and kick back. Oh, my body's asking for it right now. All right, come on, focus. No need for speed here. Exhale. that core lock. Keep your focus on your triceps. Visualize it. Going through that full range of motion. Yes. Okay, back flies. Reverse hug. Shoulder blades kiss. Get that core to hold between your back. Whatever you gotta do to think about to visualize it to get to that full motion. Same hinge position. Also, exhale. Inhale, squeeze your core, and then exhale. Woo! I'm gonna keep checking myself, making sure my head's in alignment and I don't drop.